Um, it's going really well. Um, we had a you know, big transition as far as fall ball was concerned. Um, losing or graduating six seniors was um, six very uh, impactful seniors was you know a big hit. But um, you know, I really have to say that I'm proud of the juniors and actually the sophomores that stepped up in the fall to really reinforce you know our culture, the kind of team we have, and really kind of instill the values of our program. Um, before I've been really lucky where I've had you know pretty large um, upper upper classes, you know, juniors and seniors. Um, this is the first year where I've only had, you know, two seniors really to lead the way and everybody else has done a great job stepping up and uh, making sure that, you know, a lot of our newcomers understand, you know, what we expect, what we're all about. Um, so there was, there were some growing pains at first, you know, you know, which is expected, but um, I'm really excited with, you know, how far they've come since the fall, you know, so I'm only looking forward to the amount of progress we can make uh, over the season. It's definitely been a learning experience, not only for the veterans that have stayed, but the girls that are coming in, they are learning fast. The veterans have done a great job of leading. I feel like it's not just the captains that are leading, it's all of us, because we all have to be together. And that has definitely been our motto, is togetherness um, and family, because without each other, we're nothing. Obviously losing, you know, our first team all-conference keeper, you know, that's going to be a little bit of a, a change um, in our, you know, defensive core, but um, I have to say Steve Scheip, uh, our goalie coach, has done a phenomenal job with Maddie. Um, she's one of the hardest working kids um, we have on this team, and, you know, she puts all of the extra work in. As we move on defensively, very excited about sophomore captain, um, low defender, Christina Ziegler. She's definitely one of those silent leaders, but she's a tenacious workhorse. She, again, I, I'm very excited to see kind of how she comes out of her shell. We also have a freshman, Michaela Spencer. She's um, tiny, she's fast, but she's again, she's scrappy, um, and she's going to use her game sense and her speed um, to start that transition out of the back end. Um, and then we have Nicole Brevoort, um, Stephanie Jubb, and then Audrey McMahon, which will, they'll be kind of fighting for time. And then finally, um, kind of on the anchoring the other end of the defense, we've got a returning starter, junior captain, Shauna Chapko. Shauna's got that speed, work ethic, um, and she'll be key to our defensive transition down low. Starting in the midfield, we have um, junior uh, Gabby Spalt, who um, was a key piece in our midfield transition uh, last year. Um, Gabby came back in phenomenal shape, um, ready to work, and ready to win. You know, her game sense is is phenomenal. She sees the play, you know, two or three steps before, you know, it actually pans out. So she's been able to, again, teach, you know, some of our, our newcomers kind of what we expect and what we look for um, on the attacking side. Sophomore midfielder Lede Boykin, she's been working all fall on her draw controls, and um, it's really starting to show um, in our scrimmages. You know, it did a little bit in practice, but when she came out in the scrimmage, it was obvious like what she was really capable of. At the end of last year, she really started to peak and like kind of be, feel comfortable in her skin and, and you know transition from the high school to collegiate game. Then we have a junior transfer, Megan Card. Uh, kind of have her on the flip side of the draw. She's kind of that tiny draw specialist that is quick and has uh, great placement with her draw. She's been meshing really well with Gabby and uh, Peanut and Lede as well, so I think um, that combination is going to be fun to watch. Um, we also have a freshman midfielder, Marissa Parker. Again, she's she's a freshman that I totally anticipate that to step up, own that midfielder position, and really um, you know make some big plays for us uh, coming up this year. On the attacking end, we have senior captain, um, returning starter for 2015, Sarah Lebrun. Uh, she fought hard through some um, injuries in the fall, and we are thrilled to have her back uh, with us this season. I'm sure our conference is not so happy, but um, I think they were able to see what she was capable of last year, and she's a major threat on the attacking side. She gets the ball, she's going to put it in the back of the net. Senior Alexis Olsen uh, really came into her own this year. She's got a solid drive. Um, sh she's been using her height finally, which is great. Feeding really well, solid crease rolls. You know, has been, I expect her to be kind of a big piece on the attacking end as well. And then finally, we've got a freshman attacker, Samantha Foster. Um, she's tiny, quick, sneaky, has uh, big shoes to fill from, again, from some of our, our graduating seniors, but the strides that I've seen her make from December until now, it's been huge. I was very pleased with, 
you know, my juniors and seniors and, you know, even some of my sophomores, just their mentality coming in this year is that, all right, you know, we are going to be playoffs, you know, we, yes, we are in that fourth spot, but there's no reason why this can't be the year that we come out on top. You know, we want a conference championship. We've been, we've been so close um, for quite some time and, you know, they're, they're, they're ready. Well, I'm ready. We're, we're very much looking forward to, um, you know, starting to take on this conference, finally. I feel like Holy Family is our biggest revenge team. A lot of people doubt us just because we are new, and I feel like the more they doubt, the more we want to beat them. So they're at the end of the season. We're getting a lot of practice in before we play them. We're cocky just as well as they are, so no matter how good they are, I just can't wait for them to see us.